you hear us okay? I can hear you okay. Is everybody back? Yep. You want right. to go on ahead and go? You ready for me to start? Yep. Oh, we still got one back. Okay. okay, is my first picture up okay? Yep. All go. Right. Yeah. Uh, if anybody has questions while I'm going through this, feel free to go ahead and interrupt me. Uh, I'm not going to go through. Uh, need to get everybody out of the way over here. All right. Now you can see this is just a front view side of it. The next one here, you see this right here? on the sign on the box car. I just took this box car I bought for one buck and I decided to turn it into a, uh, what's called maintenance away vehicle. And that's what it looked like after making the decals on just plain old printer paper. All I did was look up what I needed and just copied it out and the way I apply these is nothing more than using wood glue, plain old simple weed glue. I diluted about 50-50 or a little more water, let them soak in the water and just apply it and then blot it dry with a, with a piece of tissue paper. This right here is a building that I made and I made all of the decals or the, the signs to go on it. And that's what it looks like after the signs that were made. It's so easy to do this on your printer rather than uh, trying to figure out how to get somebody to make it for you. Because everything you see here are nothing more than what I had found on the internet, copied it out, uh, some of them I had to shrink down so that I could use them more appropriately because they were too big or too small. Uh, but that's how these were done. This right here is another building that I wanted to do for a backdrop. And I found this sign first, Lost Lady Saloon. So then I made a billboard sign that goes up on top of it for it. I don't know if anybody is familiar with Ertl's 92, this right here. That's a beer that started in Louisville a long time ago. <laughs> I, once I saw that, I had to put it on the building. The next picture shows you with all the decals and everything on it up here. This right here, this saloon sign is nothing more than a uh, what I just did on the printer, printed out a saloon, put it on a piece of styrene and uh, just banded it with a white magic marker. This right here, this building, all of these signs right here on the brick were done on tissue paper. And by doing it on the tissue paper and then soaking it in uh, the glue for a while, when I go, when I went to put them on, they almost became a little bit transparent because you could still see the bricks through the signs. The other ones on the building here, up above and here, are simply done with just plain old printer. This is the back side of the building, and each of these were done with just on printer paper also. This next one right here, the chain link fence that I made, you can see the signs that are put on it are nothing more than just copied from print, from signs you see on the internet. Uh, the Creekside shipping is one that I made myself. Uh, it was just done on the computer. Uh, this is showing it also, keep out signs so on. This one right here, I made this sign right here 
on the computer, Murphy's, and I cut it out and put it on the side of a, uh, oh, who makes a, shoot, I forget the name of them now. Uh, anyway, that was a, a model that I put together on. All the signs on the building, I named this store after my wife, Mills General Store, and all of these signs were done, nothing more, printed on the printer. And then I took pieces of uh, uh, wood and I banded it around it and just painted them green, the same color as the name on the building. These pictures right here, these of the, on the sides, same thing up there. There's just nothing more than copies of signs that are available on the internet. This building right here, my son had a couple of dogs that were precious to everybody, and their name was Cosmo and Roxy. And I found this sign that said dry goods, and then I just applied this to the sign, cut it out, made a wood border for it, and glued it on the building. Uh, the rest of the signs are nothing more than signs found on the internet. This is a better look at the Cosmo and Roxy sign uh, that I made. Same with these over here. Uh, it really is easy to make these, to do these signs. This building right here, uh, the backside probably is a better picture of it. Slux Woodworks is just named after my daughter and son-in-law. And it was done on a piece of dirty paper. And I just took uh, some black paint and put it on some uh, strip wood and banded it around it. Same way on the, this building right here. Is everybody seeing my cursor okay? Yes, a little bit small, but good. Okay. The railroad crossing, I had to try and do that and it didn't come out too bad. That is nothing more than a railroad crossing printed out on paper and then glued to some styrene and just a wood stick for the pole. This building here, this is the, this right here came with a, a box of stuff that I had, but I wanted to put some more uh, signs on it so I made this one, named it after my grandson. Uh, and all I did was just do that on tissue paper and printed it out. Now there's a way of doing white lettering on your printer. And if anybody's interested, I'll tell you about the process, how you go about doing that. It's really easy, but it takes a little while to explain it. This building right here uh, is a building that I built, and this was for my granddaughter. Wanted to name it uh, Move Transfer. Can't see the name of it completely, but on the back side of the building are nothing more than signs that came cut out of a piece of paper uh, from just signs on the internet. That's the back side of the railroad crossing sign where you can see the styrene that I cut out to fit on the pole. This right here is nothing more than a picture of uh, signs that I made to go on a fence in front of a, a maintenance away area. Uh, just cut them out, glued them to the wood fence, easy. This right here, when I built my coal tipple, I wanted to have something on it that looked like it was an order board for the where the what they had to be filled with in here and uh, for the for the coal hoppers. So up here, I took small sheets of I just took these are itty bitty pieces of paper, probably about a quarter of an inch by a sixteenth of an inch. And that's my handwriting on there, which is nothing more than scribble marks 
to make it look like it's some kind of a, a, a sign that people had to work for for an order board. Uh, this right here is the inside of my uh, roundhouse that I built. And all of the signs that you see inside here completely came off of the internet. Uh, there's so many signs available that uh, if you can't find what you want, you haven't looked <laughs> in the right places. This is the other side of it. And uh, as you can see, I've got signs all through it. That looks like a clock from a distance, but it's nothing more than a piece of, nothing more than uh, printed out on paper, cut out and glued in. Same as all of these here. My wife thought the, the pictures of the women in here were quite appropriate. <laughs> There's another picture of it over here. And that is it, folks. All I'm... So I don't, didn't take up too much of your time. Has anybody got any questions? Yeah. It's just a steeple. Are you using a color laser or ink yet? Uh, I have, I use this on a simple uh, Canon printer, inkjet printer. I have one sign, uh, one sign in here. Uh, let me go back. These signs right here, I did the one on the side over here, myself on the inkjet, inkjet printer. These over here were done on a friend of mine's uh, uh, laser printer. When you do this on tissue paper on an inkjet printer, you have to seal it first before you soak it in water, else the water, the the ink will just bleed all over the place. And I just usually uh, use a matte medium spray uh, to use on that. Uh, some people use a uh, spray lacquer to do the same thing, clear lacquer. But on the uh, laser printer, it was all I had to do was just cut them out and apply them with just the glue. The ones on the other side, oops, these here were just done on regular paper. This one right here, I did myself on tissue paper, and then I sealed it with a, a matte medium spray. Rick, what, yes. kind of tissue, what kind of tissue paper runs through a printer? Pardon? What kind of uh, tissue paper goes through a printer? Uh, what you have to do is take regular printer paper and then tape to the front of it Christmas wrapping tissue paper. And you attach it just by using nothing more than scotch tape. Make sure that it's a, a firm, it's smoothed out nicely on the printer paper, and then you can print it that way. Now, after you play with it for a while, you'll figure out where you can do many on a sheet of paper, rather than just one little tiny side uh, print, and then you have to waste the whole sheet. Uh, I wrote up an article for this in uh, Division 10 Lantern, uh, either last year or the year before. And if you go back in there and look it up, I'm sure you'll you'll find it. If not, email me and I'll and I'll mail mail to you uh what it what those instructions are. It's not difficult. It's just if if you don't okay, it sounds like a mini a possibility for a mini clinic is how to make science like that. Yeah, I can do that if you want me to. 
Uh, yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. All right. I will set that up someday then. Good. Any other questions? Uh, this building right here. Can you see my cursor? Yep. Where it says yeah. K and R. Those are nothing more than wood blocks that I purchased, wood letters blocks that I purchased off of eBay uh, for, and I did this some, um, oh, 10, 12 years ago, and I got four sets of alphabet wood letters, and I think I paid five bucks for them. These were all a quarter of an inch thick, but I, what I did was I took them and put them on a piece of sandpaper and sanded them down so that they got about a sixteenth of an inch thick. And then I painted them an off white color. And then I took an, uh, a Sharpie pen and did the black around the edges of it. Uh, but there's so many different ways of making signs. You can, you, you yeah. can actually, once you get started, and realizing it's not all that difficult, you can find many different ways of doing them. I have never in my life put a decal on anything. So I have no idea how decals are applied on anything. So somebody might someday do a clinic for me on that. Sound like a winner. Uh, Rich, maybe sometime you can do a mini clinic on how you print on white. How you, How you print white out? Okay. I'm going to, for those who are interested, you might go to your printer sometime today or to your computer. And what you do is, let's say, uh, type out division 10 in red, in red letters. Then highlight the background in uh, say black, then come back and change the division 10 to re remove it. And you have a white lettering. Yes. Yep. If that makes sense. If you yep. play around with, with doing that, that's how I, how I did mine. I've Uses got several I've got several signs that I've done that way on other buildings.